Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to another episode of P-Dub's Arcade Loft, and on today's episode, we've got something special for you. Whether or not you have an Arcade 1-Up or an At Games Legends Ultimate, you're going to want to watch this entire video and check out the amazing, awesome Pixelcade Marquee and the new updates for it if you have it synced up to a Raspberry Pi connected to one of those arcade machines. I think you're really, really going to like what you're going to see, and I'm going to show it to you right now. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back. We're going to try and get through this as quickly as possible for you and show you what you need to do. So if you haven't already, make sure you check out the prior video I did on the Pixelcade marquee. Here's a picture of the thumbnail. And I'll also have a link in the video description below. Uh, you definitely want to watch that video. It shows you how you can pretty much install the Pixelcade marquee, uh, have it connected to a Raspberry Pi device, and, uh, and get it up and running. And what we're going to do on this video, guys, is we are going to show you that on Easter Sunday, Al released an update. We're calling it Update Version 2.7.1 of the Pixelcade software program. And he added in a whole bunch of missing marquees, as well as now we've added a whole bunch of animated marquees. And these marquees look awesome, especially when you're playing games off your Raspberry Pi device. Okay, okay guys, let's... Let's get started here. So what we'll do here is we'll have a link in the video description below for the Pixelcade website. Uh, Al's done a great job showing off how his particular marquee installed on Arcade 1UP machines, At Games Legends Ultimate, Game Room Solutions Deluxe Bar Tops, uh, as a pinball display for uh, uh, virtual pinball. You could even just have it set up as a wall mount and other cabinets. Uh, he's posted links to a lot of the YouTube videos that he's made with demonstrations. Uh, you definitely want to also subscribe to his YouTube. I'll put a link in the channel below for that as well in the video description below. Now, when it comes to if Pixelcade ever does an update, what you want to do is you want to click on the forum link on the top right and scroll down to the bottom, and you'll notice here under the announcements section, uh, this is where the updated software versions get released. The last one was eight months ago, but then on here on Easter Sunday, Al released a new version, version 2.7.1. It was your Happy Easter update from Pixelcade. And what they've done is he's putting the instructions in here. If you have your Pixelcade marquee hooked up to a PC, let's say it's running off of CoinOps, if you have it hooked up to a pinball machine uh, for a virtual pinball display or anything like that, he has the instructions here on how to update it. In this particular video, though, of course, we're going to be focusing on the Raspberry Pi. Additional marquee artwork was added for all these particular systems, MAME, Genesis, Saturn, Nintendo, Visual Pinball, PlayStation. In my last video, if you go back and watch it, you'll notice that as we went through having it sync to the Raspberry Pi, about a third of the marquees were missing. Well, guess what, guys? Those have pretty much all been added. And not only were those added, they have added GIF animations, video animations for a whole ton of of these games. Uh, these are the ROM names right here. Uh, and as you can see, as you scroll down the list, there are a ton, a ton of games that now have animated marquees connected to them. And it's really, really cool. So not only do you have your arcade games with animated marquees, but as you go down the list here, you'll have NES games that have animated marquees. You will have Super Nintendo games with animated marquees, a whole bunch of them, and you will even have Sega Genesis games with animated marquees, and the list goes on and on and on. So okay guys, so the instructions for updating your Raspberry Pi couldn't be simpler. The instructions, you're going to find them right here. It just says for a Raspberry Pi, you can now go ahead and just rerun on the Pixel Pi install script, and you'll get that new feature as well as the additional artworks and animations. Uh, so it couldn't be simpler. You could check out my last video, uh, but all you have to do is you click on this link right here. And when you scroll down, it gives you the script right here. This is the script that you have to type in. I'll put this in the video description below, as well as I have it highlighted in my last video. 
Okay, guys, it's important to note that on the Pixelcade website under the RetroPie page, Al did a fantastic job reminding folks that a track mode will not work. So you just want to be using Emulation Station as your front end on your Raspberry Pi device. You'll have to go in and disable a track mode, which I'll show you a little later in the video if you have an image that you want to use that's got a track mode already. Some of the pre-made images you can find out there in the world that are compatible with the Pixelcade marquee are on this video as well. They're right underneath my original install video, so you could watch this, then grab one of these images. These images usually do not have an attract mode, so they're recommended images. Al even tells you what size micro SD card to use because adding these images, adding these images does take up space on your micro SD card. If the image you're using does not have an attract mode, you can go ahead and skip this step. But if it does have an attract mode, you're going to want to go into your Raspberry Pi options, go into RetroPie Setup. And once you're in RetroPie Setup, you're going to go down to the uh, Configuration Tools option because we got to get this attract mode disabled in order for the Pixelcade to work with it. And once you hop in there, you're going to look for the feature labeled Auto Start. Click on that, and you'll see that there's a bunch of options available under Auto Start. You're going to want to find the one about booting into Emulation Station. We're going to click on this, Enter. You might need a keyboard for this. And from there, you just press option number one to say, hey, upon boot, I want to boot into Emulation Station. Hit Enter, and then go ahead and back out. Back out all the way. It'll take you back here, but what I always do now is I go ahead and uh, restart the system and make sure that we boot up. We're going to reboot the system and make sure we boot right into Emulation Station, which is what we're hoping for. If we boot into Emulation Station, we can hop on over. Okay, as you can see, we are booting right into Emulation Station. This is fantastic. From here, it's going to be a breeze getting everything updated. We have booted right into Emulation Station. We're going to go ahead and press F4 and get to our command line so we can run the Pixel Cage script and get these animated marquees up and running. When you press F4, the command line pops up. And right here, you're going to enter this script. And you have to enter it exactly. And when it says curl dash L O, that is an O, not the letter zero. Go ahead and enter this script. And what's really cool, guys, is if this is the first time you're installing your Pixelcade marquee, or if you're trying to update to the new version with the animated marquees, it's going to work. So all you have to do is enter this script, and you'll get the animated marquees. If you enter it incorrectly, you'll see a cute little Pixelcade image there in the command line, as well as it says, do you want to continue? All you have to do is press yes, let the script run. It takes about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes, depending on the speed of your internet and how everything is going. But it should take about 10 to 20 minutes, and it'll run. It'll download and install all the marquees, whether it's your first time or if you're updating. And uh, let's check back in when it's done. When the script finishes doing its work, it's going to ask you, is the 1941 logo displayed on your Pixelcade marquee? And if it is, you know everything went through just fine and you're good to go, you can go ahead and mark yes to this question. After you mark yes and hit enter, it'll ask you if you want to reboot into Emulation Station and you want to go ahead and hit yes right here. At this point, guys, I'm going to show you a whole bunch of these marquees in action. That way you guys can kind of see how cool they look. We can't show them all. There's just too many. And stay tuned after that for some quick final thought and some discounts and savings codes.
I know, guys. It's totally awesome. It's really, really cool. And guess what? Last time we did a video for the Pixelcade, we were able to secure a short discount code. Coupon code PDubs was able to get you 10% off the fully assembled version of the Pixelcade marquee for your At Games Legends Ultimate. It was limited to 15 uses. Well, guess what, guys? They all got used up. They all got sold out. But I spoke with Al today, and guess what, guys? The code is back. That's right. Use coupon code PDubs at checkout, and you'll save 10% off of At Games Legends Ultimate fully assembled Pixelcade marquees, as well as 10% off Arcade 1-Up fully assembled Pixelcade marquees. Each code can only be used 15 times. That's right, guys. There's 30 codes out there for the taking. Go get them. Get your orders in. Get your Pixelcade marquee. And not only that, guys, I picked up the Arcade 1-Up one, one. It's not it's not fully assembled yet, but we're going to be doing a video showing you how to get this installed in your Arcade 1-Up up and up and running, as well as how we can get this thing synced up with Coin Ops. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are enjoying the channel. Do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, click that bell for notifications. Thanks, as always, for hanging out upstairs with us. Use those discount codes, and I really, really hope you guys have a fantastic week. Thank <laughs> you.